Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Doyle. In our today's video, we will talk about the area of composite figures. Last time, we have uploaded the video with regards to the perimeter of composite figures. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, we have here the given composite figure. As you can see, this one is quite difficult for us to calculate, but I will give you some techniques on how to find the area of this composite figure. So the, ba the basic thing you need to do here is to dissect or divide this composite figure or this figure into smaller figure. Let's say for example rectangles. I can already imagine that this one can be formed using rectangles. So first thing I need to do is to draw imaginary line here so that we can name this rectangle as rectangle number one, and this is your rectangle number two. And why do I need to dissect or divide this into smaller figures? Because when I try to calculate for the area of rectangle number one plus the area of rectangle number two, it will give you the area of the whole composite figure. Okay? So in this side, this is nine centimeters. Let's focus on rectangle number one. This is nine centimeters. This one is five. And I can I could say that this one is four centimeters because they are equal. This, this side and this imaginary side is equal to this side. And also for this side, this is two centimeters. Therefore, this one is also two centimeters. So I can calculate for the area of the first rectangle. So for the area, Oh no, this is our formula. The area of the whole composite figure is equal to the area of rectangle number 1 plus the area of rectangle number 2. So I need to find first the area of rectangle number 1. In which the area is length times width, right? The length here is 9 centimeters. We have 9 centimeters times this is 2 centimeters. So we this 2 centimeters. So the multiplying 9 centimeters and 2 centimeters, that will give us the answer of 18 centimeter squared. So th this is the area of the first rectangle. So how about the second rectangle or rectangle number 2? This one is 4, this one is 4. If this is 8, therefore, this one, this side, eh? this side is 8 centimeters. So we identified our length as 8 centimeters and the width as 4 centimeters. Now for the area of rectangle number 2, we have here length times width is equal to 8 centimeters times four centimeters wherein when you multiply them it will give you 32 centimeter squared this is the area of rectangle number two so since we already have the measurement of the area of the two rectangles you can calculate for the area of this full figure by adding them so the area of the plane figure or composite figure that is 18 centimeters squared plus 32 centimeter squared and that will give us the answer of 50 centimeter squared that's it for item number one so i hope that you learned something from the first part of our video wherein we discuss on how to calculate for the area of this figure in the next part of our video i'll give it i'll be giving you a more complicated example for you to practice with on how to calculate for the area of composite figure now we have here the second figure where as you can see i can reimagine a bigger rectangle and this one is a square so this one is quite different because in the first example we have added two measurements or two area of different rectangles wherein 
my tip here or the way yung way na gagawin ko dito is I will subtract an area from a bigger area. So let's say for example, I have here, I will draw here an imaginary line wherein, as you can see, this one is a missing square for me to create a bigger rectangle. So what will I do here, or the formula that I will use here, is the area is equal to the area of rectangle minus the area of square. So basically, first thing I need to do is to calculate for the area of rectangle. Again, for the area of rectangle, the formula is length times width. We're in the length here is 11 centimeters. We have 11 centimeters times 7 centimeters. 7 centimeters. As you can see, if this is 11, this is also 11. Why? We have here 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters and this one 3 centimeter is equal to this side which is also a 3 centimeter length. So we have here the area of rectangle is equivalent to 11 times 7 centimeters that will give you 77 centimeter squared. This is the area of the rectangle. Now, for the area of the square, that is simply S squared, wherein, as you can see, the sides of this square is equivalent to 3 centimeters. So your S is 3, that's why you have here 3 centimeters squared, or 3 times 3. And that is simply equal to 9 centimeter squared. Now for me to calculate for the area, again, I need to subtract the, the measure or the area of the smaller circle, the smaller or the square from the area of the rectangle. That is simply area is equal to 77 centimeter squared minus 9 centimeter squared. And that will give you the answer. So, sorry, we don't have that much space. The area is equivalent to 60, this one is 8, okay, 68 centimeter squared. That is the area of this whole figure. So I hope that you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the area of composite figures. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest stop loads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!